Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this tutorial, I'm designing a necklace and I thought that I would design it along with you guys. So I'm going to go over my idea that I had with you guys and talk about it and also talk about the things that have worked and things that don't work. So I had an idea that if I took a piece of wire, first of all, I wanted to use uh, these turquoise gemstone chip beads because I got a ton of them and I love them to death. So um, I wanted to make a necklace with them and I wanted to make like a, a draping like waterfall necklace. I love stuff like that. So I had an idea to take a piece of wire and to put gemstone chip beads on it, bend it into a V shape and put a loop on each side. So as you can see, that's what I did. And then I wanted to connect these together so it had this cascading, you know, like waterfall well, not waterfall, but like, um, I like bib necklaces that like cover like a large portion of the neck and chest. I, I just think they're so pretty. So anyways, I had this idea. And so first I drew onto a piece of paper. Here is my terrible drawing, as you can see. So here is one section, and then there's another, and then another. So there's one, two, three. These are the connection points. There's another one, another one, another one as you can see and then here is my necklace now I'm not really sure on how I want to do the necklace part up here I am just thinking of putting this onto a chain because I don't want to for some reason I don't want to do a ton of beads I want to kind of like even it out some so that's why I'm kind of like calling this a designing video because I don't have this totally planned out and I do like doing videos like this where I kind of design along with you guys because it's fun and I ask your opinion and you guys tell me what to do and I think that's really cool and a lot of fun so I'm using gemstone beads but I've tried a similar technique like this in the past with earrings it wasn't too long ago I took a picture of the earrings on my milk glass goblets that I have maybe I'll put the picture up now Anyways, when I was making those, um, I was experimenting, trying to make something else, and I was trying to use, I think, 6mm and 8mm round beads and bend the wire, and it did not work. So, um, if you are wanting to make a necklace like this, gemstone chips are great for this, but I wouldn't recommend to use 6 and 8mm round beads or even bigger because of how the beads shape when you go to bend this into a v-shape they just don't sit right but I do think that bi cones will work for this because of how they're shaped and you can experiment with some other beads I also think that um, four millimeter beads will work because they are small and uh, yeah that's just some stuff that I have realized so let's go ahead and do this now I'm cutting all of my wire two inches long Okay, so here's my wire here. I'm doing copper wire, and like I said, I got the gemstone chips from uh, BB Craft. I think I said that. Did I say that? I don't know. I've tried filming this several times because I've had so many distractions. And um, the chain that I'm using is also from BB Craft. I got this in bulk. It was longer, but I took a section of it out of, the, of this one out for something else. But um, the piece that I have left is like the perfect length for a necklace so I'm going to use this and I'm not sure if I should string this onto a chain or if I should make straight bead links in between up here I don't know what I should do about that area yet but first off let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make this and then I'll show you how to connect them together and then from there we'll decide on what to do with the rest of the necklace so to make these you'll have to cut two inches of wire and I already flush cut this end here and here is two inches there and I think I cut ten of these right let's see there's gonna be one here two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes you'll need to cut ten pieces and you're going to, going to need round nose pliers and these here are actually called wolf pliers one side is rounded the other side is flat and then there are markings in here to put your wire now I found that these are really just best to use with 20 gauge wire that's what they're actually made for and I think also like a 24 because of the size of the hole so anyways I'm going to make a loop and I'm just using these so that all my loops are consistent okay there's my loop and then I'm going to make this 
Like that an eye pen basically is what I'm making. Okay. And then I'm going to string my beads and I'll fast forward through this because well it's a little time consuming. Now I did find that you kind of want to like pick out some good beads, uh, gemstone chips. You want to use beads that have like centered holes. Don't use ones that are like really close to the edge. Some you can, but some that are like super close to the edge, they tend to break, so I, I avoid those. And I always avoid the super thin ones. And um, what else was it? Oh, the beads, I'm, I'm picking up eight gemstone chips, but um, you want to pay attention to how the middle ones sit. So, so you have four on one side, four on the other side. These are actually thicker, so I actually probably should have redone this one because I kind of want them to be the same amount on each side. See, so this is like too thick, but I think it will still work, and I'm probably going to use this one as a side piece. Yeah, I'll probably use it there. And so, uh, yeah. This is just some things I wanted to let you guys know about. And when we bend this, we might risk breaking a couple of them. So that's why I always try to use the ones that have the holes that are more centered in the bead. And then see how when you string them on, see how there's a gap there? I should flip this one over so there's no gap. See? They're really like puzzle pieces. Whenever I string them, I try to make sure that my wire is not being seen. Now your wire will have to be seen here in the middle in order to um oops. In order to make our connection. And I when I first designed this, I thought that I would be able to just connect these together with um the loops that I'm making. I would I would go like this. Okay, have the loop facing in this direction, connect there, and then bend this in half and have the other loop going there. And then I realized it was way too stiff and I needed a lot more movement. So I ended up making my own jump rings, which I will also show you guys how to do. Okay, so here are my beads. And I'm just going to make sure that these are all slid down. And I want to bend my loop in the same direction as that one. So I'm going to hold it right here and make a loop. Now hopefully, I won't have to redo this. Some of them I did have to redo, like, um, if you feel that your loops are too big, you can adjust them and make them smaller, like this one here, I feel like it's too big, and that I need more slack, because you do need some space here. And when you do bend these, um, you'll see that the beads are all going to be shifting so you want to bend it slowly in the middle and you want to let these spin and the thinnest part will end up here on the beads and the thicker part will go to the bottom so gently bend it and spin the beads now mine actually look like they are too thick. Let's see, what can I do to make this better? I'm gonna turn this up more because I feel like that's a problem. Just make some little changes here and there in order to get it to work. You know what? This piece is going to be fine. I don't need a gap down here because this will be the bottom one. So I'm going to let that slide. But yeah, if I was going to use this one up here, I need a gap in between here. So this would have to uh, be spaced out more. So what I would do is, is I would open up a loop and I would take some thicker gemstone chips off and I would put some thinner ones on. But yeah, you want it to be like this where you have a gap there in between because we have to put a jump ring on there. So see how all my other ones look like that? Now I need to make jump rings and so I'm going to go ahead and count my connection points to see how many I will need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 jump rings. And do you see how I have these overlapping each other like this? 
that's because I'm going to put them on the jump ring so that they are overlapping so you don't see as much metal and you see more of the gemstone chip beads and I am actually wondering if I should make more because this could be longer but I do kind of want it to be smaller because I have been making big stuff lately so um, I don't know it's totally up to you if you want you could do just three you can do six ten like I'm doing or even add more to the top and make it even longer. It's up to you and how big you want it to be. So let's go ahead and make jump rings. I'm using um, Wubber's Mandrel pliers. I have five of them. I think this is the middle sized one. I don't know. I think it's middle sized. And this is like a six millimeter rod or seven. So I'm making like a seven or eight millimeter jump ring. And I'm going to make sure that I have a flush cut here on my wire okay and then I'm going to make my jump rings and I'm going to fast forward through this because well it's very easy and it's time consuming and um, after I make a few wraps I go like this and I squish them down so that my jump rings are even because sometimes if you don't squish them one will be bigger than the other Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting them, and I'll see if I need to cut more or not. So I have my flush cut here on this side, and I need to make my new flush cut on this side, like that. That's a nice jump ring, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of them, and I have to cut in this direction and cut that waist off now because that's not a flush cut anymore and then I have to turn my pliers and cut this direction and I just go along and cut all of them and I'll be back so I'm picking up a jump ring and I have a pair of pliers here to open it and I'm going to go through this first and then I'm going to pick up so I'm working on the side I'm like this okay and I'm going to put this one on now okay and then I'm going to close it shut And I actually need to bend mine down. There we go. Looks better. Kind of like a teardrop shape going on. So then laying it down. I have this. And I need to connect these two together. I apologize for my pliers banging on my glass tabletop. I know it's aggravating, but I really can't do anything about it. I'm going to connect this one on first, which is going to be a little tricky. Let's see. There we go. I got it. Okay. And then I have to go through this one. Close it shut. Try to put my pliers on my mat every time. Okay. I have this now. So these two are going to be overlapping and I think that I will connect those next. Now I have noticed because I've already kind of made this and took it apart just because I, I did little sections because I wanted to make sure this was going to work so I didn't waste my time filming it. But um, I can see that I need to rotate like this back some like it, it's too far forward in order to get through it. Better. and this one here too it's just curled inward too much if that makes sense to you there we go okay now I'm going to pick up another jump open it and I always find it best to pick this up first instead of going through those loops because if you go through the loops first and you try to go through this it is so frustrating it's really hard to do so I, I hold it up like this okay I just let it fall and then I go through my loops like that and then close it shut ok 
Come on. Close. Okay, got it. And then here's the bottom again. I like to grab it from the bottom one. Lay it down. Oh, this is cool. Okay. And then I'm going to connect another one. So I'll I'll pick up a jump and then I'll pick up that piece here. And then I'll go through this loop. So yeah, I thought of some other design ideas for this necklace, but um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see when I'll get this done. We'll talk about it and ask your opinion on what we should do. There's so many different ways that we can do the rest of this necklace. It's just like what what your taste is. If you want something that is small, delicate looking, you would go um, one way. If you want more beads and like bigger boulder then you could add more to it. It's just personal you know preference. Okay opening this one. I'm going to attach this one next so I'm going to go through here and then through this loop Okay, grab it at the bottom again, lay it down, so then I'm going to connect these on, which one, is there one that I want to be on the side, let's see, I think, I think they'll all work for all areas, so I'm going to take another jump ring, pick up another section go through a loop you know gemstone chip beads come in all different sizes and so I wonder what this would be like if I did it with tiny I think I think the smallest ones I have are actually uh, garnet nuggets and I wonder if I could like make this into earrings maybe do two gemstone chips instead of doing four on each side do two I don't know I'm just always thinking of different ways to do it okay picking up another section and then I'm gonna go through two loops so I'm going to overlap them I don't think it matters which one you overlap but um, you could just put it together and see how it lays and if it looks like it's twisting or not laying flat then you can reopen it and you know swap them that's what I do if something doesn't work this is so cool okay so we have so far I'm going to pick up another jump and I will connect the one on here I think I should do this one. For some reason, it looks like the nuggets on that one or gemstone chips are like really tiny. Okay. And let's see, maybe I will. That one's going under, so maybe I should have it like this. Let's see. Close it. Okay, I'm going to connect the last one on. And do I need to wiggle these? Is there going to be enough space for me to get a jump ring on there? Because it look, kind of looks tight. Maybe I can open it a little bit or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I might have to make some adjustments. Oh, oh, it worked. Okay. And I just have this one to connect onto. 
Okay, now going up into the top of this, this is where I'm kind of unsure on what I want to do. Because we have different options. So, straightening this out, laying it down. So the next thing to do is to connect all my loops together with jump rings. And I, if I wanted, I could add another row up here. And there's one, two, three, four. So I would have five up here, which is going to make this longer. But I, I do think that I want this to be shorter. I don't think I want it to cover a, like a huge portion of my chest. It could be done either way, though. There's so many different options. But um, I am thinking of just putting jump rings here on the loops and then passing this through, which will make it be very delicate and pretty, and I think anybody would wear this. But um, some other ideas I had was to take more beads, put them onto some eye pins, I'd have to make more eye pins, and keep the eye pins straight. Let's see. I would keep them straight, and I would connect it from here to here. And actually, it would be cool, instead of doing just gemstone chips, I could just do gemstone chips, I could do, like, round beads, and have, like, a large round bead in the middle, maybe two smaller ones, maybe, like, a six on each side, maybe an eight in the middle, I don't know, I would have to figure out the distance on each one, and, um, it would be cool if I had, like, a big round bead like coral I love red coral and turquoise together so that's like another option I can do and um I also thought instead of doing chain going around this I could make a whole bunch of beaded links which will be more work and take up more time it's actually more time consuming to do that than it is to just put these beads on here and connect these together I think for now what I'm going to do is just put on my jump rings onto the loops put the chain on it and see what it looks like and then we'll go from there and decide on what to do next so yeah let's do that now Okay, so there we go. It looks really cool. I'm going to put the chain on now. Now, you might notice that your links are flipping to the bottom. See how they do that? You just have to go like this and flip them out. And um, I'm going to take and pass my chain through here. Alright, so I just tried it on and it looks really good on and it looks great short. So the chain I have it on is like 18, 19 inches I think. So anyways, I have decided to leave it like this because I really like it. Now I was realizing that if I were to put beads in between here, like bigger rounds like I was talking about doing. I would actually not be able to put them onto eye pins. What I would do is I would take this chain off and I would um, figure out how many beads I would need in between. I'm guessing, not totally for sure, but guessing might need like a six millimeter, an eight, and six. I don't know, you would have to see, and you might have to like bend some of these closer or. Um, pull them apart from each other to get the beads to fit just right but um, I think that it can be done but I would do bead stringing I would do bead stringing in here and I would just have the jump rings going over the round beads and they would nestle in between and then here at the end I would put a few beads and then I would crimp each end and then I would add chain to the rest of it but I really like how it looks like this but yeah there are so many different options that you can do. I also thought about continuing this here a little bit over here, maybe doing three or five odd numbers are always best. Just doing like, you know, like this going around the neck, almost like a collar or something. That's just some ideas I had. 
and yeah there's a lot of options with this so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed designing with me and if you think that I should do something differently let me know because I love to hear your opinion tell me down there in the comments this is it I hope you enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I ever upload new videos and check me out on my social media sites I'm on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter. Thanks for watching.